Every war leaves behind a trail of destruction, but sometimes in the midst of the devastation there are also great losses to history and culture. In this video, Vucation explores world heritage monuments that have been destroyed by war. The Ancient City of Basra, Syria in Syria, you'll find the UNESCO World Heritage Site known as the Ancient City of Basra, which once served as the capital of the Roman Empire's Arabian province. It's roughly 140 kilometers south of Damascus and 40 east of Dara. One of its most recognizable features is the stunning Roman Theater. The Roman Theater was constructed in the 2nd century AD and ranks among the best preserved in all of the Middle East. It's also one of the finest theaters ever constructed by the Romans, with a capacity of up to 15,000 people. The ancient city of Basra, and the theater in particular, suffered extensive damage from mortar bombardment and gunshots during the past war in Syria, and is now a shadow of its former splendor. Palmyra, Syria once upon a time, Palmyra was regarded as one of the region's must-see World Heritage Sites. The city's history dates back to the Neolithic era, and it served as a major crossroads for trade between the East and West. Aside from its rich history, the city is also notable for having housed some of the world's finest examples of Roman architecture. With a history stretching back to the 2nd century BC, it's among the world's oldest cities. The Roman Empire conquered the region in the 1st century AD. Sadly, war has devastated Palmyra. In 2015, the city was captured by ISIS, and many of its historical monuments were destroyed. This included the Temple of Baal Shamin, which was one of the most significant religious sites in the city. ISIS also destroyed the Temple of Bel, as well as a number of other ancient buildings. Buddhas of Bamiyan, Afghanistan once upon a time, the Buddhas of Bamiyan were the world's highest Buddhist statues. The tallest of these cliffside monuments dates back to the 6th century and stands at nearly 170 feet. The Buddhas quickly gained notoriety as a sacred location. The Chinese traveler Zhuang Zhang, who visited the site in 629 AD, wrote about the tens of thousands of monks who had gathered around the statues. However, in 2001, the Taliban obliterated the Buddhas. They spent many weeks destroying them. The destruction occurred after Mullah Muhammad Omar, Afghanistan's spiritual leader, issued an edict ordering the removal of all idolatrous sculptures. Aleppo, Syria Aleppo, Syria was once a thriving city with a rich history and culture, but the Syrian civil war has resulted in the destruction of much of the city's heritage. The old city of Aleppo, a world heritage site, has been devastated by the war. Many of its historic buildings and monuments have been destroyed or badly damaged. This once great city is now a shadow of its former self. The Citadel of Aleppo is one of the city's most important historical sites. It was built in the 12th century and has been badly damaged by shelling and fighting in the Syrian civil war. It's now on the verge of collapse. The Great Mosque of Aleppo is another of the city's historic landmarks that's been badly damaged in the war. The mosque was built in the 8th century and is one of the largest mosques in Syria. It's been partially destroyed by shelling and fighting, and its minaret has collapsed. The souks, markets, of Aleppo are another casualty. These covered markets were once a thriving part of life in the city, but they've been largely destroyed. Old City of Dubrovnik, Croatia the old city of Dubrovnik is a well-preserved medieval city that was built by the Republic of Ragusa, a maritime republic centered in the city of Dubrovnik. It was founded in the 7th century and flourished as a center of trade and culture until the 18th century. The old city of Dubrovnik was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979. It's been attacked and besieged many times throughout history. The most recent siege occurred during the Croatian War of Independence when the city was bombarded by the Yugoslav People's Army for six days in 1991. Despite that, the old city has largely been restored and is now one of Croatia's most popular tourist destinations. Pavla Strugar, a former Yugoslav commander, was sentenced to eight years in prison by the International Criminal Tribunal in 2005. He was found guilty of war crimes, including the destruction of well-known landmarks in Dubrovnik. Beijing's Old Summer Palace, China The Old Summer Palace, or Summer Palace, was a sprawling palace and garden complex in Beijing that hosted the Chinese imperial family during the warm summer months. It was constructed in the 18th century during the Qing Dynasty and became a favorite retreat of the imperial family. 
It was designed by some of the most talented architects and artists of the time, and it was home to many valuable works of art and literature. Despite this, during the Second Opium War in 1860, armies from the UK and France ransacked and pillaged the palace. Only a small fraction of the old summer palace has been preserved to this day due to widespread destruction caused by fires that engulfed many of the buildings. The destruction of the palace was a great loss for China and is still mourned by people today. Malta's Royal Opera House, Valletta The Royal Opera House in Valletta, Malta was built in 1866 and is one of the most important cultural institutions on the island. The Opera House was home to the Maltese National Opera and was a popular venue for operas, ballets, and other performances. It was designed by Italian architect Giuseppe Bonici and inspired by the Palladian style of architecture. It was badly damaged by bombing during World War II and was subsequently restored. Before its collapse, the Royal Opera House was among the most aesthetically pleasing and distinctive buildings in Valletta. Several attempts to reconstruct the theater had failed before Italian architect Renzo Piano reconstructed the ruins in 2013. Leuven University Library The Leuven University Library in Belgium was founded in 1425 and is one of the oldest and most important libraries in Europe. It has over 3 million books and manuscripts, making it one of the largest libraries in the world. It's also home to a number of rare and valuable items, including a first edition of the Gutenberg Bible. The library was badly damaged during World War I when it was occupied by German forces. The Germans looted it and caused extensive damage to the building. It was subsequently restored and reopened in 1919, but it suffered further damage during World War II when it was bombed by Allied forces. It was closed for many years after the war and underwent a major restoration project that was completed in 2009. The Gates of Nineveh, Iraq The ancient city of Nineveh was once the capital of the Assyrian Empire, one of the most powerful empires in the world at its peak. It was located in present-day Iraq on the eastern bank of the Tigris River. It was founded in the 7th century BCE and grew to become a thriving metropolis with a population of over 100,000 people. Nineveh was also renowned for its grandiose architecture, including a massive palace complex and numerous temples and shrines. One of the most iconic features was its massive gates, which were elaborately decorated with reliefs depicting scenes from Assyrian mythology and history. Sadly, the city of Nineveh was destroyed by a war in 6 12 BCE. The Neo-Assyrian Empire had been in decline for some time, and Nineveh was sacked by a coalition of Babylonian, Median, and Persian forces. As for the gates of Nineveh, Isis, with its relentless onslaught against historical places and artifacts, demolished them in 2016. Museum of Islamic Art, Cairo, Egypt the Museum of Islamic Art in Cairo is one of the world's most important museums dedicated to Islamic art. The museum houses an outstanding collection of art from across the Islamic world, spanning over 1,000 years of history. Sadly, the museum has been damaged several times by war and terrorist attacks. In 2001, a car bomb exploded outside the museum, causing extensive damage to the building and its contents. In 2013, another bomb attack caused further damage. Despite these setbacks, the Museum of Islamic Art remains an essential part of Cairo's cultural heritage. Hiroshima, Japan's former prefectural industrial promotion hall The atomic bombing of Hiroshima is the initial thing that springs to mind when the city's name is brought up. Designed by Czech architect Jan Letzel, the structure was constructed in 1915. It hosted art exhibitions, cultural events, and product sales from the region. When the war got worse, however, many government departments sought refuge there. Unfortunately, it suffered considerable damage due to the 1945 atomic bomb. The building's ruins now serve as a symbol for long-term international peace and are housed in Hiroshima's Peace Memorial Park. It was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1996. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to the site of any of these World Heritage Monuments? Let us know in the comments section below.